Hi there people, so you know how this channel is meant for all about technology and phones and whatnot? Well, no matter how much I love all of them, they don't seem to love me back equally. So these are some of the stories of how phones have infuriated me. And I'm going to start with the newest one, being this phone. Now I bought this phone like a year ago maybe, yeah about there, and uh, it started out nicely, it worked perfectly, I was happy, now it had a keyboard, slide out keyboard, like one of the thinnest phones with, with a QWERTY keyboard, and quickly I rooted it, installed Xiangen mod, like what was it, 7 I think, one of gingerbread, I don't remember the version, and it was fine, perfect, all until the one day that it decided that the screen is not gonna work. Okay, so it's like, oh, I'm gonna just touch something in the middle, you know, like this lock button. Uh, I know where it is. There you go, and just said, no, nope, not gonna recognize it. So that, okay, it's software problem. I'll reboot the phone. Still, it's still there. The problem, it's still there. And I couldn't even type in the the pin code if it wouldn't be for the keyboard so like okay it's definitely not software no but just for sake I'll just reboot it again and again and again and it didn't help so yeah then it got worse of course and it started like ghost typing thing so if you would go to like uh, the point location that uh, the Xiangen mod has it would just show like a line going up and down in the middle of the screen so it would like auto call people or you know just typing on its own and I think I showed it in a vlog but I don't remember if, uh, which one it is and so I stopped, refused to use the phone if it wasn't for like emergency so yeah just like stopped using it and you know then it got even worse which made me need to buy my new phone my wave uh, which was that the keyboard refused to work completely so not only did the screen not work so I couldn't like type or anything no no now you couldn't even use the phone at all because not even the keyboard worked you know, so when they opened it up went to type text nothing pressed all the keys, you know, again rebooted the phone, it just refused to work, that's how my phone likes me, so then I went, okay, buy a new phone, screw that, and I left it on my desk for like a month, maybe more, it's like two months probably, and I just said, okay, I'll try it out, maybe it works now, just to see if the battery is full, and it works perfectly yeah that's how things love me just as soon as I give them away they start working which brings me neatly onto my older phone my Nokia 6131 that did just that so I'll put this phone away I don't have my Nokia with me so I just imagine it well, Google the image. So the Nokia 6131 was a you know, flip phone, it had a button on the side so you can, it opens on its own. It was awesome, you know, the Nokia OS, I liked it, you know, for sharing apps and all that. But, you know, one day, out of the sudden, like the, the headphone did, didn't work, this thing that you, when you call someone, like no not gonna work and again I thought well if it could be software you never know we put the phone uh, it's classic fix we put the phone and it didn't work of course so it's like okay then now I bought it like two months ago and now it's already dead okay just, but just one part so you know send it to the warranty and I got it back everything's working fine Except that they forgot to load the calendar app, not calendar, calculator app, and all those basic like games and stuff. So I'm like, come on, do I have to live with this? 
and sort of like, oh, you can send it back, we'll flash it for you again and whatnot. And I said, no, okay, I'm gonna live, I'm gonna live without the calculator. What's the point? So I did that, and two weeks later, uh, it broke again. Exactly the same problem. Yeah, and I have to send it again. You know, and each time I send them like the the receipt and like uh, you know an explanation of what happened on the paper printed out. I said so like, oh, the the speaker thing broke again. So okay, they send me another one. Like it took a week because every time it does, and I got it back, and it worked. And but in the meantime, I bought a new phone. So I just gave that one away, and it's working fine ever since. So ever since I gave it away, it's working perfectly. Yeah, my dad still has it. Why does why do phones do this to me? You know, happened with that one, it happened with this one, and you know, just to end the whole how phones hate me, I will give a more recent one that happened with my Omnia HD. Okay, so you probably already know this one if you follow me for some time. So I think it's specific the it was in a vlog, uh, like phones hate me or evil phones or whatnot. So, uh, you know, one day I was in school, you know, I just wanted to check my phone like I usually do. So, check my phone. It's, what, it's not this one, I sold the Omnia. And, like, I checked. Oh! And it was sitting like it was hard reset, you know, like select date and like uh, language. And I was like, okay. I'm gonna set it up and it then started loading you know some maps like installing and I was like okay oh crap you know not in school I had like five minutes of break left it's like okay take out the battery it completely ruined everything um, you know deleted like all things in my calendar you know basically the hard reset you know what hard reset is it ruined everything so no apps, like no contacts left, no settings, and I hated the phone at that time. Yeah. So there you go. That's how much phones love me. And you know, so far nothing horrible with this one, except that sometimes when I try to load Wi-Fi just reboots on its own but that's a minor complaint so yeah if you want to hear more strange stories you can like the video that always helps or you, know, you can even subscribe that helps even even more or you can write some of your own stories down there below in the comments and until na uh, and until next time you know See you later. Goodbye.